Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in to episode 52 of Lab Padres SpaceX and Starbase Weekly Updates. I'm Lewis, your host. Now let's dig in. Working on Friday and continuing throughout the night, workers could be seen installing heavy thick plate steel shielding around the perimeter of the orbital launch mount. These panels, which are thickest at the top, are encasing the last of the exposed launch mount systems to protect against the heat and shock of the launch. Booster 10's aft section, with its liquid oxygen header tank currently surrounded with scaffolding at the top, was relocated to Tent 1. Ship 25, after being moved from the suborbital pads to the build site, was once again relocated moving up Highway 4 before arriving at Massey's test site. On Monday, a welding turntable, which provides a stable rotating work platform for ship and booster segments, was delivered to the mid-bay. Wednesday morning, components for a drill rig arrived at the build site on a flatbed trailer. A short time later, the main mast for the drill rig was also delivered. This type of rig is used to drill holes for new piles, possibly for the foundation of a new building at the site. Shortly after noon, a new Tadno Mantis GTC 900 telescopic boom crawler crane was delivered to the site and dropped off at the far side of the mega bay. Monday evening in Florida, the Starlink Group 6-1 mission launched from Space Launch Complex 40. This launch marked SpaceX's first launch of their Starlink V2 minis as they sent 21 of these next-generation satellites to orbit. Just two days later, SpaceX recovery vessel Doug returned to Port Canaveral after successfully recovering both fairing halves from the Starlink launch. Friday, Falcon 9 Booster 1078 conducted an 8-second static fire ahead of the Crew-6 launch, which would be the booster's first flight. This mission marks Dragon Capsule Endeavor's fourth mission and SpaceX's ninth manned Falcon 9 launch in less than three years. Amazingly, SpaceX currently has four more manned launches on their launch manifest for this year. Here we can see the crew departing for their trip to the pad on February 26th, Unfortunately, the first launch attempt was scrubbed at the last minute due to an issue with the TTEB ground systems. Shortly after midnight Eastern Time on Thursday, however, Booster 1078 lit up the Florida skies as it finally launched the four-man crew on their way to the International Space Station. And there you have it, another SpaceX and Starbase weekly update brought to you by Lab Padre. Thank you all for your support over the years. We'll see you next week, and thanks for watching. Lab Padre, out.